Hello guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So I'm with Rosie and Ali. Sorry, I'm with Rosie and Lindsay. I'm just literally saying that I'm gonna turn on the camera and it's gonna be embarrassing walking and vlogging. But today we are in Leeds and we're meeting up with Liz Harry, who's another designer and I'll leave all the links to everyone. They all own their own Etsy businesses and online businesses, so I'll leave a link to everyone in the description. And today we're heading off to the Etsy Leeds Market, which will be really good. I was gonna start this intro at home, but I was really, really late to picking up uh, Lindsay and Rosie, so I had to rush out. Anyway, we're meeting Liz at the Temple Bar, so it's like this coffee bar and it looks really, really cool, so yeah, let's go. And then go to the Etsy markets. I've never, ever been to an actual Etsy official market, so super, super excited. And I decided to do this Vlogmas um, on Katni, because if you don't know, I started Vlogmas day one over on my personal channel, and I'll be switching it up between the two channels, but it will all be in a playlist. Oh, my eyes are watering from the from the wind. I will do a full playlist so you can go back and watch it from the beginning. But yeah, um, yesterday we went to like this Hagrid's hut, but now we're gonna, oh, I've just tripped over a drain. Now we're gonna head off to the temple bar, so let's go, shall we? Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from your life up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad, feel it too. Nothing to Oh my gosh, look at all these donuts. What the heck? I can't believe we've got two each. My blood sugar's gonna go well, through the roof. This is a Biscoff I mean, you know, one. I've just got back from Florida and this is what I'm eating for breakfast. Two donuts, what the flip. They look delicious. Honestly, I wish I had smell a vision right now so I can smell it. Some things think that we got grew stronger Each day we're together On the way or oh, we're falling in love To me it's perfectly clear We're falling in love It's true this part of the year We have something in store for us Eat it, I'm gonna have to box my door not off that was so nice, but I'll take this one home to Dean, it'll be buzzing. Love it. Oh, Liz is so cute, she's brought loads of stuff. I'm going to show um, people what you do. That's not, Look at that's this. Not, okay. This is if amazing. Some pins. I've got this pin, I love this pin. Oh wow, look at that one, Liz. Check out that. <laughs> If you don't, Liz actually did graphic design for, was it Arctic Monkeys? Jesse J. Jesse J. Arctic Monkeys, the professional graphic designer. It's so cool. What's this one? Oh, that's a pin for it. Oh my gosh, so if you like stuff like this, definitely check her out. I'll leave a link in the description. Perfect for you. It's a perfect color. I'll love that one as well. I bought this one. Old Charles. The magic is already in you. Oh my god, that's amazing! And look at the detail on this pin. That is insane. How cool is this? They have loads of like merch and stuff, and they've got some jumpers. And I really like these temple socks. They're really cool. Look at all these. The temple hat's really cool too. But now we're heading off to Etsy Market because. It's getting a little lit. Let's go. 
<laughs> we just had the most stressful time with the parking and everyone was like creeping out. I was the one driving. I had to keep my cool. It's really like the way the roads are here. It's like all windy and it's a ring road so you keep going round and round and round. But we managed to find a parking spot. How do we leave? Way out this way. Oh, the car's going to run us over. <laughs> but now we're heading off to the Etsy Christmas market. I'm dead excited. I've withdrew 50 quid. So I'll do a little haul at the end of the video when I get home and show you what I've bought. Have we found it? Okay, cool. Way out. taking a photo of the Rudolphs. <laughs> Look at the Rudolph. Oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, no. I bet you it's harder than it looks. Oh, she's done it. Yay. Right behind us here is Leeds City Museum and this is where the Etsy market is. <laughs> my earring's stuck into my hair. Come on, Lindsay, you can do it. I don't, I dare pull it. Go on, just rip it. <laughs> not my ear, my hair. It's not coming out like <laughs> Let's see what it looks like without it. Ah! Oh. It doesn't look just, too bad. Why just you try and unpack the I hair? Can't, I can't get the uh, it through the little ah. hole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's good. Can you do it? Have you done yeah, it? it's coming. Oh my God, it's not my real hair, it's extension, so. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So this is Cluzy and she used to actually uh, go to my uni and her setup is so cool. Oh, look at the Christmas cards. They're so cool. I'm going to, oh, I like these pouches. Little tags for Christmas. I love these mugs as well. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire yeah. I don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do it's Good idea! Oh, that's so cool! Can I have a go? Do you mind? Oh, thank you! 
so you just pop a token in and a little light will come on. Oh my gosh, and this is so fun. It's kind of self-explanatory, backwards, forwards, left, right, and that will mix it go up and down. Oh my gosh, this is too fun. There we go. Oh, right, okay. I got it. I want to grab, try and grab this green one. There we go. And then do I press? This one down to go down. Ah, see. Oh my god, that's so fun. And then up again. Ah, oh, uh, oh, nearly. It was a bargain. I'd be on this all night, mate. I've had quite a lot of practice at it. I feel like this is going to do it. Oh, there she goes. Oh! Over the hole, press down again. Right, I'm gonna bring it forwards a little bit. There we go. Oh, look, I've done it. <laughs> then you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas. All the children above all. Are you getting it, Liz? Yeah. And yeah. You that was know perfect. It's it's Christmas. <laughs> Cause Santa's on his way. We'll stand under the mistletoe. And then it's Christmas Day. The joyful times we witness forever stays with us. Soon Rudolph hears his whistle and gathers all his friends. When Santa and his missus wraps the final gift, you know it's time for Christmas for each and every one. to fall and then you know it's Christmas for the children above all and then you know it's Christmas cause Santa's on his way we stand under the mistletoe and then it's Christmas What are these called again? Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. 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 What does that mean? Hello, my name's Liz. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, look. Right, I want Thai green curry, that's all I know. They also do bubble teas and I've never had bubble tea before, so I think I might try one of these. It looks so cool in here, I can't believe all the colours and stuff. Look at this. Um. <laughs> she needs a lot of assistance, so yeah. I got bubble tea to try for the first time. I've got mango. Rosie, what did you get? Vanilla. I'm gonna try this and I'll give you the verdict. Are you gonna try it? Yeah. So you got vanilla. Liz, what did you? <coughs> I'm choking on food. Is it nice? I'm sure it's really tasty, yeah. What does it taste like? I don't know. I've just eaten one. You've just eaten one? Does it just suck up the tube? I'm scared to give it choked. It sucked up the tube, but it's like jelly. Um, it didn't really taste of anything. Oh. Like, it's a bit chewy. Like it's, a it's just but a texture thing. Maybe, yeah, but the milk's really nice. So it tastes like milkshake with yeah. balls in it. Yeah. <laughs> what about yours? It's 
Nice. Do you just actually stick balls in it? Yeah, it's sucking balls in it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat them. Yeah, you eat them. Lovely. Really well, I think so. Like I'm going to try this one. Oh, yes, please. What, how do we eat them? So, this is this mint stuff. You had one of these. Mmm. That's so refreshing. You can taste the cucumber and mint and stuff in it. That's a mocktail one, that one, isn't it? Yeah. That's how gorgeous. Do you eat? Just whack it in your mouth. What is that thing on the bottom? No, no take the paper off. I can't get it off. <laughs> That's what he said. Hello, right? It's really nice. You've never had one of these before, steamed buns. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? That's the pork with red bean paste, that one. It's got a filling inside, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really, really nice. you got very caring. I Sorry. Squishy. Squishy. I'm going to try this mango bubble tea, my first ever bubble tea. The straw's massive, that must be for the balls. Gonna... Be careful not to, um, you know, yeah, go to Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I've got mango, it's like mango and milk together. So it's like a weird combination. But then after a while, it's like, oh, actually, it's nice. Very really nice. Mm. Bubble tea is amazing. Was that a ball? <laughs> I stopped. I, I fanned out last minute. <laughs> what flavour do you get? Oh, the bubble tea does the actual balls are chewy. I thought they were going to be like those you no know, liquid balls. Have you ever seen them and they burst in your mouth? There's not. But you can get them. These are just like chewy plain balls. They don't taste like anything. I think I prefer the balls with like the liquid in and stuff than the chewy balls, but it's actually really refreshing. So I've got Thai green curry for starters, then some crispy chicken wings. Hello guys, so I'm back home now and I've got into my PJs and I'm going to do a little haul of what I got from the Etsy market. It was so fun, it was the first time I've ever actually been to an Etsy kind of market. It's when there's some amazing artists and crafters and stuff. I've also got my temple donut and I was going to save this for Dean but I've decided that we're going to share it because... It smells really good and I really want some with a cup of tea. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get into it. I had such a nice day with Rosie, Lindsay and Liz. It was amazing. And the first thing I got is loads of Liz's stuff that she gave to us. She always, every time we meet up with her, she's so cute. Um, she brings us little goodies from her shop. And she does like literally the best patches. She is such an amazing graphic designer. She worked as a professional graphic designer um, and she's done like band um, covers for like Arctic Monkeys, Jessie J, uh, I think it was Nicki Minaj. Absolutely amazing. She's phenomenal. And she actually does it all traditionally by hand. So she does a lot of her design on paper. And yeah, she's absolutely insane. Look at this pin. So she gave us loads and loads of really cute stuff like necklaces and stuff and yeah I've got a bundle of goodies there from Liz so thank you so much Liz it was lovely to see you again and to chat and yeah and I met all these people online through Instagram and now we're actually friends who meet up so when I always say about making connections online and on Instagram I really do mean it you can make some really great lifelong friends and it's really nice because you're into the same sort of thing as each other so fluff do you want to get in as well fluff, fluffy keeps standing on my knee to try and get in but so now I'm going to go in the actual haul of things that I got from the Etsy Christmas market so I'll just go with whatever whatever's closest to me the first thing I got was this print for £8 and it says throw kindness around like confetti and it's really really cute it's got like pink writing and like a blue background and I thought that would look really really nice framed in either my office or my second bedroom upstairs it was really cute and I'll show you who this is from because I asked everyone to keep the business cards with the items so that I wouldn't forget who it was from this time Etsy shop here if you want to Take a snapshot of that. Next thing I got was um, a little reindeer Christmas bauble, which was only £2. It was really, really cute, like a laser cut one. And I thought it'd be really cool if I went to like craft fairs and stuff to collect handmade baubles off other artists and things. And this was from Tilly and Primrose. And they also did like garlands and felt stuff and rainbow things. And they were really, really good. So I'm going to pop 
pop that on my Christmas tree. So that looks really nice Christmas tree just behind me. Let's put it on here. I really love Christmas trees where it's like colourful baubles that people have collected and it looks really authentic and pretty. I've had the same, as you can see, it's really white and hey, do you want to join in? It's really like white and washed out behind me because I just like kept stuck to one colour and I always had themed baubles but now I think it would be really nice to like have a collection of loads of different baubles of like from artists and things that I'll collect over time and eventually our tree will be taken over by loads of fun colourful baubles and stuff. Stuff. and I've got some in Florida as well. I've got Daisy here and I've got Fluffy here. Oh my gosh, go on, go see. Go see Dean, go on. The next fun thing I got, which was a really cool um, shop, this was the little grabby machine. That was such a good idea. I, as a craft store, they had this, Dean had this like little grabby machine and you could buy a token for five pound and you played until you won. And it was like, you know, like a proper grabby machine that picks it out. It was so, so fun. And um, yeah, I love that. And I actually ended up purchasing something from a shop. And this is what I ended up getting. So I ended up getting a fun little ceramic, which is three pound. Let me try and show you. But it looked like a little snowman. I thought it looked really cute. It looked like a little funny snowman with a big nose. Um, and she was called Bobby Ray, like this. I also got a sticker somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. It was a little cute ceramic that I won in the shop. It was like just a little fun ornament. He's called Sourpuss, I think, and he has a little cheeky butt. I also bought this sticker, which I'm gonna give to my sister, <laughs> who works for me. I bought a pencil, a pink pencil that says stay weird and I thought this would look nice in my pencil pot and I bought this from Thriftbox. I've actually seen Thriftbox before on um, Etsy and you can find them here. And it's just like a cute pencil, but I thought it would look nice in the top of my pencil part with it being big. Oh, Fluffy. Oh, Fluffy's trying to ruin the vlog. God, Dean, look. Oh, don't wipe your face on the lens. That's expensive, that, Fluffs. Can I help you? She's actually rubbing her face on the lens right now. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Right, go on, get down. No, go on, get down. Oh. Oh. Hey, Daisy. Honestly, the pair of them. Hey. Hi. They're probably thinking, what is this contraption Catherine keeps talking into? Uh, the next thing I got was from Shimmer and Lux. And this is actually going to be um, a Christmas present. So look away family right now, make sure you end this vlog here. And I basically got four to 10 pound handmade bath bombs. So I got like this little snowman. I got this little shimmery purple one, which says cozy cashmere. I got this one that says um, rose water and lemon leaves and Daisy's wrapping it up on the tissue paper that I've dropped on the floor. Uh, this one that says shimmer and looks um, cat capering. I don't know what this says but it says this flavour. So I got four bath bombs for £10 and I'm going to put that in my little Christmas present drawer and I'm probably going to give Two to Dean's mum and two to my sister because she loves bath bombs and I like handmade bath bombs as well. And then I spoke to um, an old friend of mine who used to go to, who was in the same uni class as me and she studied graphic design and she is called Fiona Plues and she owns Plusy. And I got four gift wraps. So it was four gift wraps for five pounds, which I thought was a brilliant offer. And her gift wraps are really gorgeous quality. And I got like these badge ones which has like the Scandinavian print and then this nice tree texture one as well. And um, we're doing Secret Santa this year with the girls so I thought this would be really really gift wrap 
uh, really really nice Christmas gift wrap and I'll find some nice twine like this and I'll wrap my presents in these obviously these four probably won't do every single presents I've got but these can be like a really nice gift wrapping um, idea for the girls I think they'll really like this and she does all these handmade illustrations so this one I'll try and roll it out so you can see the illustration because it's really really nice so that's like all trees and things like that it's a really nice pattern got this one which reminds me of like a uh, very Scandinavian type of minimal design and this one is like some really cute penguins and like this crisscross pattern and I really really like this and the paper texture is so nice of this gift wrap so I'm really excited to do some nice wrapping with these for Christmas yeah this is where you can find her she's absolutely fantastic I absolutely love her style so if you're into that sort of stuff definitely go check out Plusy. she looks really really nice and then the last thing it's not what we got but we got a photo at the photo booth <laughs> and it was so fun they were doing this for free and you gave in like donations and stuff and I thought this would be cute to pin on the side of my fridge look at it Dean ta da <laughs> happy funny quirky snowman and then we've got a little reindeer one down here and then I've got my Disney one that I got off my auntie and I've got two more Disney baubles to go on here and eventually I'm going to phase out all these white looking ones so I have yeah, nice baubles on. Yes, fluffs, can I help? Thanks for ripping my tissue paper up, Daisy. Thanks for ripping my tissue paper up, I really appreciate it. <laughs> you're so cute. What? Oh, Daisy, look what you're doing. You're destroying the tree now. So I'm going to end Vlogmas Day 2 here guys and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see Vlogmas Day 1 it was put up on my personal channel but there will be a playlist for you all to check out. Uh, and we went to Hagrid's Hut, it was so cool. We found like this place that did Hagrid's Hut and it, it wasn't just like, like half done, it was like a proper Hagrid's Hut with the actual like a real car from the Chamber of Secrets and yeah it was really really cool it also had the Shire and stuff and then we put up this Christmas tree last night so if you want to go check that out that'll be in the playlist in this video or on my personal channel and yeah I'll see you tomorrow for day vlogmas day three thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of inspiration if you're planning on doing a market with your business all right then I love you and goodbye